Welcome back to Chronicles History Quiz. When Booker T. Washington visited Boston, a fight broke out. Can you name the location where it happened? Where did Booker T. Washington, a well-known African-American educator, speak when he visited Boston in 1903? A, Faneuil Hall. B, in front of the 54th Regiment Monument. C, Columbus Avenue AME Church. The answer is C. Columbus Avenue AME Church. It's a historical document that a fight broke out. Booker T. Washington's sister, Maude, pulled out a hat pin and started stabbing people and she got arrested. That century old event when legendary educator Booker T. Washington came to a Boston church for a talk turned riot is just one of the colorful stories the BU professor unearthed while collecting local artifacts over the past 19 years. So discovering the Roxbury Project came about when my father um, passed away in 2000 and we were cleaning out his closet and came across some photographs, some scrapbooks, and it has now taken me on this journey of finding these wonderful stories. That journey inevitably led to the black churches that shaped the community. The local churches have always been an interest of mine because we grew up in a church. Specifically, this church, People's Baptist, a place where the pastor, Reverend Wesley A. Roberts, is part of an exclusive club. Since 1918, I'm the third pastor in 100 years. Another claim to fame, a rare inscribed Paul Revere Bell. It was moved here when the building was being built. Dr. Clark's relationship to the Bell is more personal. I grew up here. My father was a custodian. When my brother went on to college, I received that honor of ringing the bell. Dr. Clark's project brings back the past for him and others. I found a photograph and I couldn't identify anyone in the photograph. It was a group of children that were all dressed in uniforms. I was at a wedding reception and someone was asking me about my work. And this man, he must have been about maybe 70 or so, started to cry. I'm in that picture. It is from St. Cyprian's. A copy of the photo, each boy identified by name, lives in St. Cyprian's, a church built by black Bostonians after getting the cold shoulder from white congregations. Like so many of the items from Clark's collection, the photo is a gateway to a larger story. There are 12 stained glass windows. They represent African-American people. Sojourner Truth, Martin Luther King Jr., Harriet Tubman. I don't know of any place in Boston that has such a collection. It demonstrates not only the ethnicity of this place, but the cultural significance. Still to come, a New England island with a mysterious history.